Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss something very interesting and very practical. What could be that? Actually, we are going to discuss how we can implement a dice inside the FPGA. So what is the challenge? Actually, when you throw a physical dice, it gives you a random number ranging from 1 to 6. And each time you throw a real dice, it gives you a different number. Or it can be same, but it will be random in nature. That means the challenge is we have to implement a random number generator inside the FPGA. If any one of you knows or want to try how to implement a dice or a random number generator inside the FPGA, try yourself and if you come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section and we will discuss it there. If your way of generating a random number generator is better than ours, then we will present that idea also in our upcoming videos. Now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, on your screen you are seeing a dice logic design which we are going to implement inside the FPGA. But just for your information, I am not going to give you any RTL code for it. But we are going to discuss only the logic design. So what all components are required to implement a dice as per my understanding. So the very first module is we need a free running counter which will keep on incrementing by 1 and its count will range from 1 to 6. Let us name its output as count. So this count will range from 1 to 6 and on every clock cycle it will increment by 1. Another important component of our design is this switch panel. This switch panel is available on most of the FPGA boards. And let us assume that if this switch is not pressed, it is giving logic 0 at its output and once this switch is pressed, it, it will start giving logic 1. But the signal is asynchronous in, in nature, so we need to put a synchronizer. So this synchronizer will synchronize this asynchronous signal with the clock domain. And let, let us name this signal as enable. And this enable is going to a latch. Now there are two implementation of a latch. In one implementation, when enable is high, I should pass this count value at the out of this latch. And once I release this switch, this enable will go zero and then whatever count will be there at the random number should be latched. But you will get your final random number once you release your switch. In another implementation, when you press a switch, this enable will go high and immediately you can latch the count value at the random number variable, which is output of this latch. Implementation is your choice. It will not make any difference. Friend, this was all how dice logic works. And you can implement the same logic inside the microcontroller or at any other platform as well. Now I want to request you two things. The very first thing is try to think of a latch design, whatever we are using here. And if you come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section. You can give me digital design or RTL code as well. Now the second request, which is very, very important. If you can write the RTL code of the entire design, generate a bit file, put it inside the FPGA and demonstrate it. And while demonstrating, please capture your video on the camera and please share it with me and we will share that video with all the members and subscribers of our channel. With this, I am going to end this video and I hope this would be quite informative and interesting for all of you. And if you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.